Anybody? Gail and Philip O'Neill are faced with a frustrating problem, one that could happen to you. Okay, what's the car for? What is that? They're trying to park in Detroit, and the pay station won't take the money for any of the spots. And just a few feet away, some poor guy has gotten a ticket he doesn't deserve. Hey, we need you! Gail flags down a municipal parking employee who reports the non-working pay station to the city. What you just witnessed is not unusual. These pay stations aren't all they're cracked up to be. The seven Action News investigators are about to expose some chronic problems plaguing the city's parking system. Problem number one, pay stations won't accept payment. A municipal parking insider tells me this happens all the time. The pay stations won't accept coins or credit card swipes, especially when it's cold or wet outside. If you get a ticket because it didn't take your payment, your only option is to ask for a hearing, as this woman did. But when I can't put money in the meter, I don't believe that it's reasonable that I pay a ticket for not being able to um, pay the parking cost. I've dismissed your ticket, ma'am. When you think of a police car, you probably think of a car that looks like this. But there are a lot of police cars on the road that look just like the ones you and I drive. Cops use them for undercover work. You see cars in police lingo. But as you're about to hear from one expert, what Detroit is paying to lease some of these UC cars is way out of line. What would you think if you saw a deal like this in the want ads? For lease, a 2004 Dodge Intrepid, just $608 a month, plus 15 cents per mile. You pay for maintenance. What? That's crazy. Who would ever pay 600 bucks a month to lease an eight-year-old car, plus mileage and maintenance? Answer, the Detroit Police Department. Here's the contract, a two-year lease with Trader Ray Leasing in Detroit. The deal was signed in September of 03, but the car didn't go back when it expired in 05. It's still on the road, and the city is still making a $608 a month payment for an eight-year-old car. But wait, there's more. Action News obtained this whole stack of expired city car leases, more than 100 identical two-year contracts on 04 through 07 models. All of them expired and still on the road. The city is still making full payments ranging from four to $600 a month to Trader Ray Leasing. It seems very, very hard to believe. The difference between buying a car and leasing a car for 110 cars is over $4 million. It's a Thursday morning and Judge Sheila Gibson is pulling out of her subdivision heading into work. The 7 Action News investigators are right on her tail. Why? Because it's almost 11 o'clock as she walks into the courthouse. She was supposed to be in at 8.30 and her first case was on the docket for 9. This is a chronic thing. She leaves people waiting virtually every day for hours. Lots of people. Prosecutors, defense attorneys, clerks, social workers, parents and kids. People like this guy, whose son ran afoul of the law, were hiding his identity because his kid's still under her thumb. We had to show up at 9 o'clock, and then she wouldn't show up until she felt like it, you know, 12, 12.30 in the afternoon. So um, my attorney, I had to get rid of him because of the cost. I couldn't pay him for three hours to sit there. Judge Gibson makes 140 grand a year as a Wayne County Juvenile Court judge, and it's clear that taxpayers aren't getting their money's worth. We tracked her for five days straight and she's a habitual slacker. Look what we caught on our undercover camera. A woman so mad she throws her purse on the ground. The contents go flying. She stomps around yelling and flinging her arms in the air. What's she so mad about? This, a $443 bill from area towing. Shane Anders owns the towing company. When people get their cars towed, they're furious, they're not happy. They didn't call me to tow their vehicle, right? The police department did. That's right, Anders Company tows for the Taylor Police Department. He has a contract approved by the city council. The rates are spelled out here in Appendix A. But as you're about to see, area towing charges a lot of fees that are not listed in this contract. And that's why this woman, Ariel Pearson, was so hot. Yeah, I was heated. They told me $274 if I came and got it, and then it was $444 when I got there. Pearson was charged a $36 no-show fee and a $136 after-hours fee. Neither charge is listed in Appendix A, and that's just the beginning. Area towing also charges lot fees, gate fees, winching fees, debris cleanup fees, miscellaneous fees, restoration fees, and fuel surcharges. None of these charges are listed in the contract, and it's been going on for years. 